hey welcome back to the channel guys in today's tutorial we are going to peel some stickers on and off using HitFilm express so let's start this tutorial create a new composition and i'm just going to name this sticker this is where we'll where we will be making our sticker so let's uh, create a new plane layer and we can call this base and then we can choose any color for our sticker and click on ok and then you can choose the either the rectangular mask tool to create uh, your sticker you can create rectangular sticker if you want to use the circular sticker you can use the ellipse tool to create an ellipse like that and you can even use the free and mask tool to create a custom shape so but for this tutorial i'm going to use the rectangular mask tool and create a sticker that has um, the shape side is that looks something like this and then we we'll go to mask then shape and then we can expand the expansion um, to get these rounded corners okay so then we can select the text tool and we can type in our text in this but obviously you can type in you can you know add different elements into this uh, that is completely up to you so I'm just gonna type in something like subscribe and we can put this uh, put this in the center of this blue box and then we can just put it right in the center like that Okay, so then this is our sticker you can obviously add more if you want to but let's just keep it as it is for now Let's create a new composite shot. I'm just going to call this um, Main so this is where we'll be animating our sticker. Let's drag in the sticker into this comp and uh, then we can just um, create a new plane layer and we can call this mask or mat you can call it whatever you want and again we are going to use any color it doesn't it won't matter because uh, it will not be visible in our animation so let's just go ahead with that color let's hide the mask layer go to effects and search for the set matte effect and apply it onto the sticker composite shot then we can set the source rate to mask and a blend to subtract and also click on the invert checkbox so now where our mask is our sticker will be visible in that portion only so if I move the mask away you can see the sticker is going to disappear so uh, we can yeah, just use that to create kind of a wipe animation in our sticker so let's expand the mask go to transform and um, I want to create a position keyframe so let's move forward to like 20 frames and I want this position keyframe to be right at this point where the playhead is Let's go back to the first frame and let's just move the position of this right at the top so around 1080 and then you can see that we have this wipe effect going on and then from the second keyframe I'm just move 10 frames forward and we are going to set this to around 300 let's uh, not 300 we'll just undo that we'll just create the same similar keyframe so I'm just going to copy and paste this right there let's move 10 frames forward and again just set this one to 300 let's move 20 frames forward and we can just completely move it to the bottom around negative 1080 okay so we have something like oops we have this 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 and it should be negative 300 okay so Right at this point, you can see that uh, nothing is happening to our sticker. It's still there. I want a bit of a cut in our sticker. So what I can do is I can just create a new point layer in the sticker comp. Create a new point layer. I'm going to pair in these two layers to that point layer. Let's go back to transform. And we can like rotate this sticker like to around 45 degrees. And we can also scale it down like that. So we can just play around with that and then if you go to our main comp you can see that now at, right at this point you see how we have this cut right here in the top left corner of the sticker and this is going to be the fold uh, effect going on with our sticker so now we can we have that then we can what we can do is we can create the back of our sticker so let's just duplicate the sticker composite shot and we're going to put it at the very top and then we can go to the effects and search for the fill color effect and apply it on this layer and then we can expand the fill color set the blend amount to zero and i'm just going to pick this 
blue same blue color from the sticker and just click on this color and just make it a darker color of this blue and click on okay and then set the blend back to 100 percent then what we have to do is we have to go to the mask layer and just double click on the second keyframe so now your playhead is at this point now what we have to do is we have to parent the sticker to composite shot uh, to the mask layer right at this point so this is the really uh, essential step for this animation to work and um, once you do that you just uh, have to go to sticker to go to transform and create a position keyframe let's move it at the very beginning and then we can just change the position and put it right at the right at the bottom so at negative 1080 like that okay so we have something like that and uh, then what we have to do is we just have to go to effects and see everything is working so now all we have to do is we just have to flip this uh, over so we can do is we can unlink the scale first and in the scale on the right one we can set it to negative 100 so now uh, we can see that our sticker is now you know like uh, being applied on the surface so it's that kind of effect going on so now we have that and now what we can do is we can continue by creating the second the peel off effect or peel away effect and again we are going to duplicate the sticker 2 let's duplicate that now we have the sticker 3 layer and now we can go to transform and uh, we are going to expand the mask layer as well so just have to double click on the third keyframe to move your playhead at this position we are going to right click on the position and click on reset so that will basically reset the position we are going to create a position keyframe right at that time and now uh, we want the position to be to be around uh, right at the top so like that okay so around 1080 and then we can move forward to 10 frames and we can set this to so we earlier set that to 300 so if you use the calculator you can see that i already did some math here so if we subtract seven seven what was that 300 yeah subtract that we will get around 780 so we can just put that value here and then we can move 20 frames forward and we can set this right at the bottom so around zero and that should be it so there we have the sticker the peel off effect as well so that's pretty much it that's how we can create the sticker peel on and off effect in hit film express so so that is just about it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions regarding this video Please do let me know in the comments below. Other than that, if this video is helpful, please do consider liking and subscribing and also turning on your notifications.